Can you believe his titanium laced armor is made of plastic? This week we're taking a look at Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Wave 2 Executioner. While his name and motivation are uncertain, Executioner seems like the type of person that to this day still thinks about being it from a childhood game of tag. He dives at me in a pussy-like fashion. Poor planning, poor execution. Articulation, bruh. An executioner generally beheads people at the neck, so it's a little ironic that he only has a ball joint at the neck, allowing him to look down not so much, up barely anything at all, some left to right, and a decent amount of tilt. A double ball joint behind the waist gives you a little bit of a crunch forward, more so back. There is some gappage if you push it too hard, but otherwise it is hidden nicely behind the belt, giving you a decent amount of tilt and a swivel. The arm can't rotate all the way around because it does hit that scarf that he's not wearing correctly. Uh, okay, um, so apparently that just pops off. Uh, there's a bicep swivel, a pinless double jointed elbow, arms ball and hinge all the way up, hands rotate and hinge the correct gun wielding way. I mean that scarf was getting in the way but uh, there's a shoulder pad on his left side and has the similar sort of range it would have if the scarf was on there. With the slits in the trench coat you can kick up about, you can probably kick someone in the knee. Out not great, there's an upper thigh swivel, a pinless double jointed knee that if you push a little bit further through the slit you can get up pretty high. Feet hinge down, hinge up, and rocks like releasing a Hasbro video on a Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday, of course! Hit him in the middle of the week, so evil! Accessories! Does this purse go with my bra, bra? Executioner comes with a depowering laser rifle that lacks the paint to make it accurate to the show. The titanium lace rods peg in while the rifle pegs into the hole at the back. The Sentinel Cannon is held in with friction. If you're having trouble with it sliding off, swivel it around so it catches and it should be more secure. Ah, go sit yourself. Only a crazy person like Dr. Doom sits in his armor. But with that sleeveless trench coat and apron, Executioner cannot go sit himself. If you were gonna take a shot at the Master of Magnetism, would you wear metal armor? Here's Magneto. You know, for as tactical as he is, it's kind of a shame that he'll never be able to play VR. Here's Cyclops. Does it still count as a human shield if they're a mutant? Here's Storm. And the biggest gene freak of them all, here's Gene. And he may regret testing his metal against this old dog. Here's Wolverine. And leaving behind a puff of smoke wherever he goes, I see you, Nightcrawler. Next up, we've got Hitler's redheaded stepchild, Red Skull, and his Hydra soldier, a Hydra soldier. And like every other dickhead that can't seem to think for himself, here's a clown, Mafex's Pennywise. And lastly, a callback from the first scene from the first episode. Here's the hand from the HasLab Sentinel. And just for giggles, here's the Sentinel hand stand that came with the Toy Biz Gambit. Think on sexy thoughts. Think on sexy thoughts. Watching the first two episodes of X-Men 97, am I the only one who wants an FOH army builder? Just give them those berets like those teeny weeny beanies that came with Nick Fury. Executioner is packed in with all the accessories seen in the show. The only other thing I could think of would be an alternative head sculpt without the faceplate. Most figures with a trench coat have terrible articulation, but the ball joint at the waist was a pleasant surprise. But once you twist past a certain point, the illusion is broken and looks awkward. The executioner looks awfully small for a guy in armor, and the scarf over the shoulder breaking off would have disappointed me more if I cared at all about the character. Maybe if you didn't go to the bathroom so much, you wouldn't be so small. Oh. The best part of this release is the depowering laser rifle, but doing a side-by-side, -side, it's inaccurate to the show and needs more paint. 
With all the sculpted detail on the Executioner, it's a shame that he's such a dud of a character, and now an action figure. Part of that is the design, and the other is the execution. You are the weakest link. Goodbye.